Halloween night is like St. Patty's. Halloween night is like no, 4th of July weekend. No, how dare weekend. you? How Halloween dare you? Night is like, how it's dare you? New Year's Eve. It's how, amateur hour how, bullshit. It's fun. How dare I you? You said not but two weeks or one week ago on this very show mm -hmm. that the Halloween party parade is your favorite thing to happen in New York City and that you love partaking on it. And I said, it's like Bourbon Street times 11. And you said, no, that's wrong. It's an amazing experience. Right. So how can you say <laughs> Halloween is amateur hour then? Well, I don't, I'm not talking about the parade. I'm talking about the sex, booze, and... That's and, what the parade is. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's an adult parade where you said everybody gets drunk and throws candy out to adults in packed bars. Well, you, you, you're you allowed to drink. You're not allowed, but people are drinking in public, yeah. so that's fun. But you, you're it's, watching it's the parade. It's an adult No, you're shit seeing music, parade. costumes, floats. You're seeing like you're, art you're, installations. You're throwing candy to people when they scream for you and, and cheer of the holiday. No, it is, no. It's awesome. It's, it's your, it, it, it is awesome and, no, don't, and for don't you to, there's debauchery in all the bars for you to call that amateur you you know you're full of shit on that one i don't you think the parade is amateur hour huh? the parade i don't think is amateur hour. that is the epitome of adult halloween that parade it's yeah, so argue that so much to the point that i'm hesitant about whether or not i want to go to it because it takes the thing i love about halloween and amps it up so much that i'm like i don't know if i can handle this man it's too much debauchery you've never been there right Huh? You've never been to the I've parade? I've been there several times. Oh, okay. So, I don't know what you mean. Did you ever march in the parade? No, I never marched. Okay, in. I'm t I'm talking about us marching. I understand. Okay, let's it's not different. Get, if let's I'm, not get, it's different if let's I'm not get sidetracked. If I'm corralled that. side sidewalk with 800 drunk people screaming and yelling, and pissing and fighting, and, and spilling out of a bar. I, I'm just talking about how I, I love also the parade. Think people that say New Year's Eve is amateur hour are people that think New Year's Eve is Times Square ball drop. That is amateur hour. Okay, but no, New I Year's didn't go Eve, to any bar. New Year, any bar. You're right on that one too. And, but any decently put together New Year's Eve event in a house, a house party, it's awesome. You get all your closest friends We're together. We're talking pros and cons. Yeah, but I mean, it's like so. Like my point is this: with with Halloween, is it's full autonomy. You can when you're an adult, you do it exactly how you want. How exactly? Like it's almost like saying, like, look, there's a magic to Christmas, and I'm still swept away by Christmas every year. Okay, That's there's a high. magic to Christmas when you're a kid. That magic is still there when you're an adult, and it's even better when you're an adult because not only mm -hmm. are you receiving, I think we're chasing Christmas. Our whole lives after that. I I don't I disagree. I'm chasing a feeling and even a I disagree. The feeling as a kid is so good that the feeling we chase only has to be a fraction and you know, of it and, and for us also, to feel it. And also the feeling as, as a kid can be so bad because you were at the mercy of what other people are willing to allow you to do or gift you. And a lot of the times you get burnt, okay? Your mom, you tell your mom, I want this thing. She gets it mixed but, up with that thing. But when I think back you know, on whatever it is. I, granted that we're pivoting to Christmas in relation <laughs> but in I'm relation just to saying, Halloween. But let me, finish, let me know when you're going to bring up McDonald's. Let me, but, pick, let me, finish, my, let me finish my Halloween yeah. argument. Man. My point is, when you get older, Christmas to me becomes a much more special thing because you do it on your own terms. You have the uh, you have the full adult autonomy to control it in a way that you would like to, and I think that makes it even more magical because you're able to bring joy to other people. It's not just about you being on the receiving end. Me, me, me. I get, I get, I get, I get. <laughs> which is what Halloween as a kid is. It's me, me, me. Gimme, 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 gimme. It's not you spreading any of that joy to anybody. It's only you receiving that joy. When when you're an adult, you can put on a Halloween thing that brings up all the reminiscing, the reminiscence and the, and the nostalgia and the feelings that you got when you were a kid by having an awesome spread of candy, by putting the cobwebs up and the smoke machines in the house, by having booze and, and, and or, or, or doing an adult style with booze or whatever. And suddenly I'm right back there, man. I, I look, I'm right I, back there. Look, we're talking pros and cons, right? I'm not saying I love Halloween, even as an adult, but if I had to choose between the two, I choose kid. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste buds. Taste buds. Taste buds.